going on guys um this is nick back with sci fun and uh this is just gonna be a really short video i haven't posted in a little while but i just wanted to show you the method that i was using when i catch queens in a colony um which by the way i've been recently when i've been finding my queens i've been usually looking for small colonies and trying to capture as much of it as possible including the brood um as you can see i did that here with this and a couple ones that are going to come later but what i do is uh usually i get a lot of dirt um, that comes in the test tubes that I get them in and uh, I want to get them into you know the normal test tube set up with water um, So what I do is I put tape two test tubes together same size um, One of them I have the water at the end with a cotton ball So it simulates like a normal test tube setup because one of them obviously is just the ants and dirt and you don't really want that um, So I cover it with darkness um, as you can see here, I shine a light on the one that's bright, and within minutes, um, sometimes it's taken like an hour, um, sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow, the, uh, the ants will explore the new test tube, they'll realize that it's a better suited nest, um, they'll let the rest of the colony know, and they'll immediately start moving brood into the darker nest. At that point, um, once they're fully moved over, you can just carefully and without moving it too much, or they'll get scared and start running all over both test tubes and mess it up. Um, you want to remove the tape. And uh, take the two test tubes apart and put a cotton ball in the normal test tube with all the ants in it, and you have a normal test tube set up with the colony. Um, so, this is a great way to move all of the ants in the colony, um, including the brood, which they'll move for them. So, you don't have to do any tapping, you don't have to knock them anywhere. As you can see, this little guy right there, he's carrying some eggs into the new dark test tube, um, which is exactly what you want. There he goes over at the queen, um, he'll drop them off right there. And uh, yeah, here's another, another colony, or this might be the same one just later on. Um, and that's basically it. I just kind of wanted to show you guys one of the methods I use because I've been finding a lot of queens. I'm going to make a video on all the colonies. I have probably 15 colonies with queens right now. Most of this, mostly this species, but I also have like maybe three or four Camponatus, which I'm really excited about, that are laying eggs. They don't have any workers yet, but I caught them um, the normal way without a colony. They're hard to catch queens of the colony. Um, and they're huge, so they're pretty cool. I'll make a video on those guys. But, um,. Yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know how I do my movement, and uh, thanks for watching, guys.